The second law of thermodynamics basically says that any change increases the amount of entropy in the universe. And what is entropy? Entropy is disorder, and it's symbolized by the letter S. So remember that when you're taking a test or doing practice problems, that entropy is symbolized by S. As you'll see in most processes, uh, a system will most likely go towards a state of entropy or disorder. So an example of this would be a cup of water. And let's say that you're going to put some food dye into that water. So we have our food dye. We drop it in and it disperses all throughout the water until all of it is colored the way you want it to. So if you think about it, at first it starts as this little dot, I guess, in the water, but then it just disperses throughout and it gets really more disordered. So its first phase as a small dot is ordered. It's just very compact and organized. But then later, after time passes, the food dye disperses and it seems very disorganized and unorderly. So it's going from a state of order to a state of disorder, which means the entropy increases. So I wrote an equation here as another example of entropy. And what we have to do is determine whether entropy increases or decreases. Now, the first thing that you do is look at the states of matter that all of the products in reactants are in. So I see that our reactants are in the solid phase, while the reactant, I mean the products, are in the solid, liquid, and gas phases. Now what you have to remember is that solids have the least entropy or the least disorder, and that's because they stay how they are and they're pretty compact compared to liquids and gases. Then of course liquids have a little, uh, a little more entropy than solids because they can freely move around, and then gases have the most entropy because they just take whatever shape and they just float and the molecules just float freely. So since we go from solids to solids, liquids, and gases, entropy increases. So we write that by saying that delta S, delta is change in, so the change in entropy is positive. Or you could just write it like this. But then what if you have products and reactants that are the same phase? Well, you just compare the amount of moles on each side. So there's one mole of gas A over here and two moles of gas B over here. So since there's more moles of gas on the right side of the equation, then entropy increases as you shift to the right because more moles of gas has more disorder compared to one mole of gas.